Welcome to the video tutorials of mechanisms by Mechanismaler. In this animation blood flow is deliberately shown in slow motion to show the direction of the blood flow. Also the red cells in deoxygenated blood shown with gray circles. You may be wondering why a channel dedicated to mechanisms is now showing a video about the human heart. It's because it is the simplest and yet most vital organ in the human body which pumps blood to the human body. It may be the simplest, but even with our advanced technology we are unable to use a man-made heart yet. There were attempts to replace the human heart and I am confident that it will be used by humans in the near future. However, there is a catch, all of these artificial hearts will require an external power source as far as I know. To understand this magnificent machine we should first understand some facts about it. The healthy heart beats 70 times a minute. During each heartbeat it pumps an average of 75 milliliters of blood out of the heart. It can move 5 to 7 liters of blood in 1 minute and 7600 liters per day. In a lifetime, it beats over 2.5 billion times and pumps over 200 million liters of blood. This means that a healthy heart can fill a 230 meter pond with 2 meters deep of blood in its lifetime. All of this is done without an external power source. As I stated earlier, the heart pumps blood to the human body including itself. The heart delivers through blood, oxygen, and nutrients to the body and collects deoxygenated blood. Actually, the human heart does not pump a single pump, but two pumps working in tandem. These two pumps are separated from each other by septum. Each pump has two stages, that is why our heart has four chambers. The right side of the heart pumps blood to the lungs to pick up oxygen which I will call the first pump. In this animation the oxygen poor blood is shown in blue. The left side of the heart receives the oxygen-rich blood from the lungs and pumps it to the body which I will call the second pump. Also in this animation oxygen-rich blood is shown in pink. The heart has four chambers and four valves that are connected to various blood vessels. Veins are blood vessels that carry blood from the body to the heart. Arteries are blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart to the body. The atria are the two upper chambers that collect blood as it flows into the heart. The ventricles are the two lower chambers that pump blood out of the heart to the lungs or the other parts of the body. Four valves control the flow of blood from the atria to the ventricles and from the ventricles into the two large arteries connected to the heart. The tricuspid valve is in the right side of the heart, between the right atrium and the right ventricle. The pulmonary valve is in the right side of the heart, between the right ventricle and the entrance to the pulmonary artery. This artery carries blood from the heart to the lungs. The mitral valve is in the left side of the heart, between the left atrium and the left ventricle. The aortic valve is in the left side of the heart, between the left ventricle and the entrance to the aorta. This artery carries blood from the heart to the body. Valves are like doors that open and close. They open to allow blood to flow through to the next chamber or to one of the arteries. Then they shut to keep blood from flowing backward. If we use engineering term, then each valve acts like a check valve. The pulmonary artery carries blood from the right side of the heart to the lungs to pick up a fresh supply of oxygen. The aorta is the main artery that carries oxygen-rich blood from the left side of the heart to the body. The coronary arteries are the other important arteries attached to the heart. They carry oxygen-rich blood from the aorta to the heart muscle, which must have its own blood supply to function. In this animation the coronary arteries are not shown. The veins are also major blood vessels connected to your heart. 
The pulmonary veins carry oxygen-rich blood from the lungs to the left side of the heart so it can be pumped to the body. The superior and inferior vena cava are large veins that carry deoxygenated blood from the body back to the heart. You may think that the heart shown in this animation will function perfectly to pump the blood to the body part. However, this is not true. What makes the blood move in a certain direction? For example, what makes the blood inside the right atrium pass through the tricuspid valve rather than go back into the vena cava when the right atrium squeezes the blood? This is because the veins contain check valves in them to allow the blood to go only in one direction. Without them blood circulation would not be possible. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. We appreciate your support.